does that sign say? It is Hebrew, Greek, and Latin for Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. No. No! Woman, behold your son. John, behold your mother. From this day forward, I shall care for her as if she were my own. I'm thirsty. Give him water. I got some sour water. We've been here three days now. Why doesn't Superbook take us home? Perhaps there is something else that Superbook wants us to see? John! I've seen him! He is alive! Alive? What are you, what are you talking about? How can that be? Stay here. Exactly what did you see? I couldn't sleep. I went to the tomb. Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? If you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary. Jesus. Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go find my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, there they will see me. If there is anything I enjoy about being a Christian, it's that God loved me so much that he gave his only son to die for me on the cross. That clip we just watched is all the reminder that I need, and that helps me love God even more. On that note, Happy Easter, Super Kids!
Now let me ask you some questions. Do you love your mom and dad? How about your siblings? Or do you have friends that you love very much? Well, I know some of you are going, of course I love my mommy, and of course I love my daddy. Let me ask you the second question. If someone said you had to die just so they could enjoy the rest of their lives on the earth, would you do it? Huh. Now that's a hard question. It's a very hard question to answer and more difficult to do. Even Jesus Christ did not want to do it. He prayed for God to not allow him die, yet he submitted to God's will for him to die for us because he loves us and he knew it was necessary for cleansing our sins and bringing us closer to God. That was to remind you of why we celebrate Easter. It's not about the eggs or the bunnies. It's about God's love for you and for me. Our main episode is up next, and when we return, we'll talk some more about the things that we learned. Let's go. My Father in heaven, holy is your name above all names. May your name be glorified. James! What is it? It is Moses and Elijah speaking with Jesus. Teacher, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. This is my dearly loved son. Listen to him. Arise, and do not be afraid. Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Please tell us. Explain. Please explain. Remember, everyone, the brown boxes will go to Grandma's new home. And the green boxes are things she is donating to charity. Coming through! Oh, hang on, James! Oh, looks like you could use some help. Quite the contrary, Joy. I do not need any help at all. In fact, I have calculated the most efficient process for this move, and I will only have to make 12.6 more trips to complete all the packing. Uh, yeah. With my upgraded Superflux nano circuitry, I have run billions of calculations. Oh. Cross-reference those results with possible temperature density variations, which would account for any expansion or contraction of the vehicle walls, in order to determine, down to the last millimeter, the perfect packing position for each item inside this moving truck. So, as you can see, I have come up with the perfect plan 
to move Chris's grandmother closer to family. <laughs> Perfect is right. Is it me, or did it just get really dark? Hello? <laughs> Guys? Uh, a little help, please? Are you excited about moving, Grandma? I am, Chris. Now I'll get to see you every day. Oh, I will miss this place, though. There are lots of wonderful memories here. But since your grandpa passed away... <laughs> well... The house is just too big for me to live in all by myself. Grandpa accomplished so much in his life, didn't he, Grandma? I mean, all his awards, the science foundations, the charity groups he worked for, his family. And none of it would have been possible were it not for prayer, Chris. I prayed for him every morning when he started his day, and we prayed together every night before we went to sleep. Grandma, what were Grandpa's prayers like? Well, he especially liked... Oh. <sighs> Are you all right, Grandma? I'll just be back in a moment. Now you keep packing. Okay, Chris, we are ready for the rest of the... Shh, shh, shh. What, Chris? I think my grandma is... I don't know, kind of sad about leaving. And packing my grandpa's things is making her miss him even more. Oh, I have heard that when someone is sad, they should try to think of happy things. We should talk to her about bunny rabbits, birthday parties, and upgrades wait the last happy thing is only if she is a robot thanks Giz but I don't think that'll help she was talking about praying with grandpa and all I did was ask her how he prayed Super Bowl. oh not now Super Bowl. I need to help my grandma oh. I am taking you to a place where you will learn how to pray. Giz, get a reading on where we are this time. According to my geosensors, we have landed near a very high mountain in Judea, and... Uh-oh, the locals seem to be very upset about something. Come on, let's see what's going on. Chris, do you think it is wise to approach an angry mob? Tell them to think those happy thoughts, Giz. They'll change like that, right? Yes, happy Judean thoughts in approximately 30 AD. Bumper crops of olives, fat sheep, strong oxen, and an end to the Roman occupation. Oh, this mob will be singing for joy in no time. I was kidding, Gizmo. <laughs> or bunny rabbits and birthdays. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Son, these men are trying to help you. They will cast out your evil spirit. Excuse me, what's happening? These disciples of Jesus have been known to cast out demons. They've been trying for some time, but it is not working for this poor child. Clearly, you do not possess the power to cast out a demon such as this. They need incense and amulets. Spirit, leave this boy and never return. <gasps> they are deceivers! They cannot heal him! <laughs> Master! Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. 
he often falls into the fire or into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. You faithless and corrupt people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. I've never seen Jesus so angry with his disciples. Teacher, we did everything we could, but the Spirit would not do as we commanded. How long has this been happening? Ever since he was a child, the demon has often tried to kill him by throwing him into a fire or into water. Please, have pity and help us if you can. Why do you say, if you can? Anything is possible for someone who has faith. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. I order you to come out of the boy! Is he dead? Oh. Oh. My son. My son. Please, no. The boy has died. called us faithless, Peter. He was speaking to the others. Weren't we the ones he chose to go up the mountain with him to pray? Yes. And weren't we the ones who fell asleep, unable to stay awake to pray as he did? You have given us our son, Master. Please, stay and be our guest as long as you wish. May peace be on this house. Peter. You must come speak to Jesus with us. We tried to heal that boy today, as we have done many times with others. But the evil spirit would not leave him, no matter how we commanded it. Something is wrong. Why not ask Jesus yourselves? Teacher, why couldn't we cast out that evil spirit? This kind can be cast out only by prayer. You do not have enough faith. I tell you the truth. If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. What does he mean, Peter? It is, I do not truly understand, except if we had been prepared, Jesus would not have thought of us as faithless and corrupt. We are his disciples. That demon should surely have been cast out by any one of us. We lacked in faith. But how do you build faith? Jesus often relies on the word of God to overcome obstacles. We hold the word in our hearts and should return to it daily. This is one good way to build faith. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Where do you think Jesus is going this early in the morning? They say he often goes out to pray by himself. Come on. Father, I pray for my disciples that they may have the ears to hear and the eyes to see. Please strengthen them with the faith they need to do your will on earth. They must prepare to spread the word when I am no longer with them. Please help them, Father. Hear their prayers and grant them faith to overcome all evil in the world. I want them to be one with us. Gis, even though Jesus was angry about the disciples' lack of faith yesterday, listen to how much he loves them. He's just talking to God and asking for help for them. I wonder if that's how my grandpa prayed. Excuse me, James, what's happening? Jesus is sending us out to nearby towns to share the love of God and prepare the way for him. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Father, send more workers that the harvest may be great. Go and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Don't take any money with you, nor a traveler's bag, nor an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. As soon as you enter a home, say, God bless this home with peace. If the people living there are peace-loving, your prayer for peace will bless them. But if they are not peace-loving, your prayer will return to you. If the people of a town welcome you, eat whatever they offer. Heal their sick. <laughs> and say, the kingdom of God has come near you. Praise God! I am healed! <laughs> Calm down! Hold him down! We're trying to get his arm! <laughs> what is the matter with this man? An evil spirit has taken hold of him and he cannot be calmed! <laughs> Come out! Thank you. Thank you. The free Superbook Bible app has fun stuff everyone will love. It's jam-packed with games and activities, plus lots of exciting Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Find answers to your questions, watch videos, discover biblical heroes, and of course, read the Bible. The new Superbook Bible app. All the fun of Superbook in an app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Master, Peter has returned with some of the others. What's happening? The followers and disciples have returned. We are sharing all of the wonderful things our faith has made happen. Yes, we've seen it too. So many miracles. It was amazing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Philip, Nathaniel, where are the others? Lord, 
Even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will injure you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. My Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I am grateful that you hid all this from wise and educated people and showed it to ordinary people. Yes, Father, that is what pleased you. My Father has given me everything, and he is the only one who knows the Son. The only one who really knows the Father is the Son. But the Son wants to tell others about the Father so that they can know him too. Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his followers to pray. When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <sighs> it is good to be back. I still have 11.6 more trips in order to complete... Chris? What are you going to do for your grandma? Well, I've seen some pretty amazing changes happen when people prayed. Maybe I could pray for her. Our Father, who art in heaven. Guys, this is the prayer Jesus taught his followers. It must be one of the prayers my grandpa would pray with my grandma. I think I know what I can do. Grandma? Chris? I'm sorry. There was a lot of love in this house. This was your grandpa's favorite. The Lord's Prayer. Why did he like it the best? Because it's a lot more than a prayer. Your grandpa used to say Jesus gave it to us because it's the perfect model for all prayers. Then this is how we should pray. You and me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our God is the God of all gods. He alone deserves our worship. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We pray for God to come into our hearts so that we can do everything he wants us to do. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You know, just like God gave Jesus up to die for us on the cross, he also made you and me to change people's lives. Well, take a look at Samuel. God called him as a child. How about David? He killed Goliath as a young boy. Even Jesus started preaching when he was just a child. And then Chris in our story was able to help his grandma when she was having a hard time missing her husband. So don't you ever think that you cannot do big things for God just because you're a child. Do you know that 
every one of them had something in common. Let me tell you, they were willing and they believed that they could do big things for God. If you notice in the episode we watched, the disciples could not cast out the demon that possessed that boy, even though they should have been able to. That was because they did not believe that they had the power to chase out demons. But that changed when they began to believe and put their faith in the words of Jesus. And they began to do miracles and big things as God enabled them. There is so much God is willing to do through us, but we must first believe. We must first believe that God can use us. And then after we believe, we can begin to learn to follow him one day at a time, one step at a time. Let me tell you, some days are going to be hard, but then some days are also going to be easy. But every day we have to decide to learn from God and then we can do better and do awesome things for God. A very, a very important part of learning to be close to God is, did you, did, did you get it? Prayer. Say with me, prayer. Yes, prayer. Jesus taught his disciples to pray so that they can know how to talk to God as their father. And when he was no longer there with them physically, they could also grow their confidence in God. I like to pray when I feel down. I also like to pray when I feel good. I need something, I talk to God. And then when I just want to thank him also for all that he's done, I also just pray. Chris helped his grandma feel better by praying with her, something his grandfather did very often. Now let me tell you the truth about prayer. It puts you at ease and then it makes you more confident that God is hearing me and will do anything I ask. We'll pray very soon, but first, let me tell you what God wants you to do this year. He wants us to do much more for him. He wants us to be helpful and kind, to talk to someone in school about Jesus and just to draw closer to him this year. Remember, you are never too young to do big things for God. Say that with me. I am never too young to do big things for God. Now it's time for us to pray. If you have never asked Jesus to be your friend before, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for giving your life for me. Thank you for being my friend. I commit today to be your friend forever. In Jesus name, Amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for taking my sins away. And thank you for giving me my identity. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and make it your home. Help me to be just like you. Lord Jesus, please send your Holy Spirit to guide me every day. Thank you, God, for making me your child. Amen. I'm not going yet. There's just one more task for us to do today. Before you go to bed, let's pray together with everyone at home. Let's ask God to help us to be closer to him and never forget the sacrifice of his only son dying for us. We can even sing songs like, <laughs> my favorite song is Tobe Chiku. Yeah, you can choose your own favorite song and sing to God, just thanking Him for everything that He has done. It will make it more interesting. On that note, Happy Easter, Super Kids! I'll see you again next time on a Superbook special. Bye-bye!